Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can mail merge a Google Sheet using Canva's Bulk Create. Now, Bulk Create in Canva does require that you have a paid version. If you work in schools, you can actually get free, quote unquote, paid versions, meaning schools have access to more premium features like this. The other thing to consider is it doesn't have to be in Google Sheets either. Uh, we're actually going to convert it to a .csv file, so this would also work with Excel if you have it. Now, if you want to skip this next part, you can. I'm just, I have random names and I'm going to make random numbers and then grade levels, personal messages using some data that I have. So if you don't really care about this part, you can go ahead and skip it. If you think it might be helpful. You can see how to use the rand between function. So for this to get started, I'm going to use the rand between to get grade levels for these random names that I generated. So I want them to be between first grade and eighth grade. So one through eight. When you do that, it'll actually show a random number. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go down to the very bottom and then go up paste it all in. And now I have random numbers here. Now this is a volatile function, meaning that if I do any edits, which I'm just pushing escape, you can see that all of these are random. I already built the personal message with this, but I'm just taking it to the next um, level with the grade lookup. And this is where I don't want it just to say, congratulations, you have completed two. I want it to say second grade. So I'm just going to do an X lookup of this number and I have some data here. So I'm just going to use this. I'm going to go ahead and just use the entire row of if you find this number, then put this grade. So I push enter and now it's two and it's looking up second grade. The other thing you can do instead of copying and going down like I did, you can just push this twice and it should fill that all the way to the bottom. So control down and that is set up. Finally, I have this personal message. Now, this is a little bit extra of what we did here, and I just took it to the next level. I did ran between, and then I showed the minimum value of this data here. That means that if you have another message you want to add, like 9, and say, hmm, try again, or <laughs> something else, probably a little nicer than that, then it'll actually take the max, and so now it is 9. So I'm just going to undo that last action. And when I go back to this max and highlight it, it's now eight. So this would be a way to account for new messages. If you have more messages, you might build. Again, this is all just, there's a lot of use cases for it. Um, and then finally, the X lookup is going to then look for that number that we have here. And then or if it finds that number, which it will because it's the same data, it'll then display the message that you'll have. I'm just going to hit this twice. And so now I have built this name, what the grade they are, again, random, grade level to replace that, and then a personal message for all of these people. Now that I have this completed with 400 students, I'm going to just go ahead and go file. I'm going to download it. And I'm going to download it as a comma separated value. Note with this file type, you're only going to have the one page that you're on or the one sheet tab. So it's just going to be on whatever one you're at, which is the class list. So I'm going to push comma separated value. The download will start. And now I'm going to go to Canva. Now here in Canva, I've already picked a template that I wanted. I'm going to edit it a little bit here. But you can always go to the design in Canva and, you know, here's some different options that you have. I mean, well, I actually kind of like that one. I might switch it. Or did? Eh, no, I'll, I'll keep this one for now. But anyway, there's a lot of options here. So you can go ahead and look through those. Again, you do need to have the premium account to find the bulk create. If you don't have bulk create down here, you'd probably have to go to the apps. And then if you just search for bulk create, you'll find that and then use it. So I already used it and it's here. Um, so your screen might look like this and then bulk create. There are other options too, but just click it and then you can see it, it shows up here. 
Now, you'll have to enter the data, and this is where you can do it manually or upload data. So I'm going to do that CSV. You can, of course, do um, the Excel if you want as well. Now, in this, you might want to update this. I, in this example, it's a summer certificate. So uh, this is like our class this school year. This is a certificate of summer. And it's presented to, and I want the name. And then here, I'm going to have this be kind of the message that I have. And, you know, it could be a little bit different too, because you might want to say like for the grade level and then message. But again, it depends on how you want this to. You probably don't want the same exact ones that I do. So I'm going to say for the grade and I'll have this here. And then let's put this, this is where I want the grade. And then I'm just pasting another, here's a message. Message. And again, those I'm just using as placeholders right now. So this is what it's going to look like. Now, this is just an example name. So, you know, if you want to put that there too, you can have the name and you have these different spots. So bulk create is just like a mail merge where you want to take that spreadsheet and put whenever there's a name, that row will be here, the grade will be here, and that message will be here. And it'll do that for each row, for each essentially each person. So let's go to upload data. It'll be in my downloads. And I'm just going to click that file, push open. Now this one will say the imported data set is too big. So it can only have 300 rows. So what you'd have to do if you are doing this for a larger group is you'll just have to remove some rows and do it multiple times. The other option is you can enter text here and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. So I want these four and if I go to the name and push paste, you can see that it does all of those and it'll just make it to the max amount it can. So here I have those. So either way would work. You, I just wanted to, you know, essentially do that error here so that we know. What I'll do is I'll go down to this and since it was 300 was the limit, I'm just gonna go up to here. I'm gonna copy it and then I'm gonna delete it. Then I'm gonna go to this new sheet and paste those and so essentially this is the last 100 that we would need to add. And, you know, I can just say um, class list part two. And it does mean that you'd have to upload this again or copy paste it in. But you'll at least have it. So I'm gonna then re-download this class list a separated value. I'm going to go back to my Canva. I'm going to upload data, class list, and that'll be one. So now it works because I removed the extra 100 names and grades and all of those. So now that you're here to the connect data to your element, what you need to do is right click an element and then connect it to a data. So here is the name. So I'm going to connect the data to names. This is the grade connected to grade. Now I have the numbers and levels. I do want the level. So it says like first grade instead of just one for the grade one just wouldn't look as nice. Personal message. And you can see that these have highlighted. I'm going to push continue. And now you can choose to select all of these. Maybe there's a name that you don't want. Like if someone left your class, you can not select them. In this case, I am going to have all, and this will be 299 designs, again, because I deleted up to 299 to 300, and then there's also that header row. Generate the 299 designs. Now, depending on how many you're making, it could take a bit. I mean, this is as big as it gets. And 
here is the designs. So you can see that it switched the names, the, the grade, that into this. Now, if you're going through these and maybe there's something that you need to edit on one specific one, in this case, I don't really, but maybe you want to move this or change the message, you can actually edit it. It just makes a new design called bulk one. So this is the one I did of the summer certificates. And so now I have all these certificates with their numbers and that would save countless, well, probably hours if I was going to do all of this on its own. So again, and if you want to tweak some of this, you can always go back to your original design, which again, well, I'm just switching to back to here and you can see I still have the names and I have these here. So if you wanted something to be bolded or a little bit closer, you know, or maybe the message you want it to be a little bit larger and take up more room over here, you can kind of tweak it and then go back to that. Um, again, it's totally up to you on what kind of edits, but this is how you would do it. And, you know, again, if you need to adjust it, you can adjust it as needed and then generate it again. And it's going to ge generate a new bulk of these with this new design that I made. And then I can use those ones if I prefer that option. So it is pretty slick in order to get these. The downside of using this is, of course, one, you'll need to have an education or a paid version of Canva, and it's restricted to only 300. So if you have like 3000 or something like that, you'd have to run this like 10 times to get all of those. Whereas there are other ways to use it, even in Google Sheets, to you know just run it one time or automatically. And if you have Microsoft, you could use Mail Merge there in order to make these. But again, if you're talking about like a class or a grade level, this would be a great way for you in your homeroom to be able to create designs like this. So we did finish the first data here, first 300. So if you are using this and you have more than 300, you'd have to go back to add your data and you can either upload or enter the data manually. I might in this case with the part two, I might just do it manually just because I have it all here. So if I do control A, control C, I can copy it. I go back to here, enter data manually. And since I already did the example here, I will have to clear table. And then I'm just gonna do control V to paste it in. And now I have this that you know will count up to that last row there. 101. So now I have those. And since I already mapped these out, all I need to do is hit continue. And, you know, again, you can double check to make sure you have all of them. But since it, go, it adds up to 101, that is the amount that I needed with that other design that I had. So generate 101 de designs. How close were you to saying Dalmatians in your head? I was pretty close. And now we have our next designs here. So again, it is that same name. So you might want to rename Summer Certificates Part 2 or however you are naming it, just so that you're aware of which one. And again, I always like to double check. So this is the first name. I'm just going to go back to here. And that is the first name in this one. I'm going to go down to the bottom and it should be Darcy. And so if I use this and go all the way down, Darcy's there. So it's just a way to just make sure that all of these did get onto these designs, and it does. So again, hopefully you find this video helpful. There's a lot of different ways you can use it. I do think it's a helpful way to do this. It is just a bummer that 300 is the max, but using it for a class, this is a fast way to even, I mean, I'd say this is faster than writing 25 for a standard class size. I think this is a very easy way to get a lot of information there, if, especially if you already have it in a spreadsheet. So hopefully you find this helpful. Uh, do the YouTube things like share, subscribe, leave a comment if you have a question or just wanting to know something more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.